Lewis came about three weeks early, premature. He did good, he was a strong little boy. He showed us from day one what a strong little boy he could be. Two years ago, Lewis got the flu. You know, very high fever, the usual flu symptoms. And a few days later, I heard my son John just scream for me. I could just hear panic in his voice. So I ran into my room and Lewis was having his, a seizure on my bed. He went for MRIs, everything came back normal. CAT scans were normal. We could not find a reason why this was happening. If I could have in a second switched places with him, I would have put me in that bed. I kept asking God, just put me there, don't. I'm sorry. It just wasn't fair to see, to see your kid go through that. And as a parent, be so helpless. I, can't, I couldn't do anything to help him. He had a rough time in there. It was a long, long time. I think it was about seven weeks he was there. He had to learn how to walk again. He had to learn how to brush his teeth. He had to just learn to do, do everything again. He jumped back quick. I'll never forget the day walking down the hall behind him. He was in a wheelchair and he told the PT, he's like, I'm gonna walk. He got up and just walked. And the happiest, one of the happiest days <laughs> to see him just get up and walk. So now he's on four different types of medications. The biggest side effects when you're on multiple anti-epileptic drugs is sedation. He goes to school, but he's tired. He wants to be able to just go outside and run around with his brother, but he doesn't have the energy. He's 13, you know, I, I want him to be a kid, just be a kid and just, you know, experience the things that he should be experiencing without having to worry about seizures and all the medicines and things like that. Today, the procedure that was done on Lewis was what's called a stereotactic EEG, where we put depth electrodes into the brain to monitor those seizures. This is the first robotic placement of these stereo EEG leads ever done on Long Island for an adult or a child. The advantage of ROSA is that once we have the ROSA programmed with the data, it helps the surgeon to insert the probes straight into the areas we want, bypassing the blood vessels and being very precise. What the surgeon would take six hours to implant can be done in less than an hour. And we're able to really minimally invasively explore the brain for the seizures. He'll go now to the ICU and we'll monitor him as we take off his medications. The purpose here is to catch seizures make him have seizures. We then will analyze where they're coming from and then he'll go home. We will then analyze the data at length over the next few weeks. And if they find those spots with this test, then hopefully there's something that they can do to stop them. Our goal is obviously to cure his epilepsy. We want him to not have any seizures, zero per year. How we get there is gonna be a question. Are we gonna be able to burn out or cut out a portion of the brain that stops them all together? Are we gonna be able to stop them 75% and then continue on a few medications to stop the rest? We'll decide over the next few weeks how we're gonna treat that. If they could get rid of his seizures, he said I, it would make him happy. So he's definitely looking forward to hopefully that and taking away the medicines.